In this video, we will solve further problems from exercise 3.3. So question number 4 says, prove that cot 180 plus theta into sine 90 minus theta cos minus theta divided by sine 270 plus theta tan minus theta cosecant 360 plus theta is equal to cos squared theta cot theta. So let's break all of these into their theta form. So let's take cot. 180 degrees plus theta that's nothing but cot theta then sine 90 degrees minus theta will be equal to cos theta and our cos minus theta will be equal to cos theta then the denominators which is sine to 70 degrees plus theta is equal to minus cos theta and tan minus theta will be equal to minus tan theta and our cosec 360 degrees plus theta will be equal to cosec theta. Now let's take the left hand side. So the left hand side is cot 180 degrees plus theta sine 90 degrees minus theta cos minus theta divided by sine 270 degrees plus theta tan minus theta and cosec 360 degrees plus theta. So let's replace them with the corresponding values. So this is equal to cot theta into cos theta into cos theta divided by we have minus cos theta into minus tan theta into cosec theta. Let me put them within brackets. Now let's replace our tan theta and our cosec theta in the form of sine and cos. So that's equal to the, the numerator will now be cot theta into cos squared theta, cos squared theta. And the denominator will be now minus cos theta into tan theta will become minus sine theta divided by cos theta into cosecant theta is 1 by sine theta. So we can cancel this and this and this and this and minus into minus will become plus. So your answer will be cot theta into cos squared theta which is of course equal to cos squared theta into cot theta which is equal to RHS, hence the proof. Before we solve the next problem, let's understand this graph of the sine function. So the function here is y is equal to sine x. Okay, so it's a function. So as the value of x keeps changing, the y value will also change. For example, Let's come here. If your x is equal to minus 2 pi, then your corresponding y value which is sine minus 2 pi will be minus 360 degrees and that will be 0. So we mark this point 0. Then minus 270 degrees which is minus 3 pi by 2 will be if x you know the, the angle is that then your y will be equal to 1 which is here. Similarly, minus pi will be 0 and minus pi by 2 will be minus 1 and 0 will be 0, pi by 2 will be 1 and pi will be again 0. Then 3 pi by 2 will be minus 1 which is here and 2 pi will be 0 which is here. So you can you see that this is like a wave 
function and this is called the sine wave actually and it is a continuous function it will continue in the same direction. So, if you take any point on this it will satisfy the function y is equal to sine x. So, now what we are asked to do is the question says find all the angles between 0 to 360 degrees which will satisfy the equation sine square theta is equal to 3 by 4. So, let us start to break this down. So, sine square theta is equal to 3 by 4 which implies our sine theta will be equal to square root of 3 by 4 which is nothing but root 3 by 2 sorry plus or minus here plus or minus here. So, this implies sine theta is equal to plus root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. So, now we need to consider all the values of theta in other words in the function here x for what values of x your value of the function y is equal to sin theta is equal to plus root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. So, let us look at this curve here. Now, root 3 by 2 we know that sin 60 degrees is root 3 by 2. So, when I say sin 60 degrees it is going to be a point somewhere here. So, let me mark that point. Let us say that this is 60 degrees. Okay. So, the same 60 you know the value which is root 3 by 2 will occur in at least two places in the curve and we are given that the domain function is between 0 to 360 degrees. So, it is only from 0 to 360 degrees within this range within this you know interval. So, this is sin 60 degrees. So, we can say sin 60 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2 and the second situation that it is root 3 by 2 is 90 plus 30 or you can say it is 180 minus 60. So, we know that sin 60 degrees can be written as sin 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. Okay. So, this is nothing but sin 120 degrees and that is equal to root 3 by 2. So, this is for the positive root 3 by 2. Now, the negative root 3 by 2 will occur in these two places. Now, this is nothing but our 180 plus 60 degrees. So, sin 180 degrees plus 60 degrees will be equal to sin 240 degrees which is equal to root 3 by 2 and the next one that will have the same minus sorry this is minus root 3 by 2 will be 2 pi minus 60 degrees. So, sin 360 degrees minus 60 degrees will be equal to sin 300 degrees where again the answer is minus root 3 by 2. Therefore, the answer is theta is equal to here we had 60 and 120, 60 degrees, 120 degrees and here we have 240, 240 degrees and 300 degrees. Question number 6. Show that sin squared pi by 18 plus sin squared pi by 9 plus sin squared 7 pi by 18 plus sin squared 4 pi by 9 is equal to 2. Now, let us replace all the pi with 180 degrees and let us see if we can simplify all these values. So, given to us sin squared pi by 18 plus sin squared pi by 9 plus 
sin squared 7 pi by 18 plus sin squared 4 pi by 9. So, if you replace all the pi with 180, this becomes sin squared 180 by 18 plus sin squared 180 by 9 plus sin squared 7 times 180 by 18 all or n we are converting it into degrees now plus sin squared 4 into 180 degrees by 9. So here we know that 180 by 18 is 10 so this becomes sin squared 10 degrees plus this is 20 sin squared 20 degrees plus sin squared 10 into 7 will be 70 degrees plus sin squared 2 times 4 is 80 degrees okay so further let's keep the first two terms as they are and this can be rearranged as sin squared 90 minus 20 degrees plus sin squared 90 minus 10 degrees. So, keeping the first two terms as they are sin squared 20 degrees. Now, the third term we know that sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. So, this becomes cos squared 20 degrees and this will also become sin squared 10 degrees sorry cos squared 10 degrees. Now, we have clubbing these two terms and these two terms we get sin squared 10 degrees plus cos squared 10 degrees plus sin squared 20 degrees plus cos squared 20 degrees is equal to sin squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. So, this is a 1 and again this is a another 1. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS hence the proof. Thank you for watching Math Tutorial Anand. Please like and uh, you can comment if you have any questions and do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.